how are you all? I hope you're all doing well. So first of all, I just want to say I'm really sorry for how inconsistent I am when it comes to uploading YouTube videos. Every time I upload a video, I say to myself, I'm going to commit to this and I'm going to post more often. I'm going to take so many more vlogs and make so many more recipes because quite a few of you messaged me like, you need to post more, you need to post more. And I really want to, but it's so hard to find the time sometimes because we are just constantly on the go, traveling around. I really want to make it a focus as of as of now, really, I'm going to say this on camera so you can hold it against me, to post at least once a week. And yeah, I really want to try and post more and um, uh, give you guys more content on YouTube. So for today, we're going to be making a vegan cheesy pasta sauce. I've been trying out loads and loads of different recipes for this for quite a while and like nothing's ever hit the spot. For someone who used to be like really a cheese lover, and I have to admit I haven't cut cheese out completely, like I'll still have it if it's on a slice of pizza or something. But um, at home, I don't tend to buy or eat cheese. So I wanted something to fill the void because there is a huge void. When you're a cheese lover and you don't eat cheese at home, it's really nice to have like a replacement. And being with Philip, who is lactose intolerant, and he also doesn't eat tomatoes because he gets like the acid reflux and actually I started getting it too. If you think about it, like when you don't eat dairy and you don't eat tomato sauce, what other sauces are there? So for a long time, I was just making Philip coconut sauce like with the coconut milk because I had no idea like what else to make. So this is a coconut free, dairy free, tomato sauce free, completely vegan, plant-based, healthy, 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 cheesy pasta sauce and I really think you guys are gonna love it. It couldn't be more simpler, like literally just chuck a few things in a pan, stir it up, you don't even have to cook it, you just heat it up and it is good to go and it tastes amazing. I'm super proud of it and I hope you guys all love it and give it a try at home and if you do, please send me pictures and also let me know what you think. So we're going to start by putting our water on, the highest heat to get it boiling and then once that's boiled we're going to pour our pasta inside. So while that water is boiling I'm just going to start by pouring my oat milk in the saucepan. We're making the sauce today just for one person as it's only me eating and I don't want to waste any food but you can easily double it or triple it if you have more people. My water is now boiling so I'm going to pour my pasta in. I'm also just going to add a bit of salt and then just give that a stir so it doesn't stick to the bottom. And then I'm going to put my oat milk on a low heat. I'm going to add two tablespoons of nutritional yeast to my oat milk. One, two, just going to stir that in. I'm then going to add a tablespoon of cashew butter to the oat milk. So we do one heaped tablespoon. I'm then going to add my vegetable stock. I use a stock powder and it comes with a little spoon like this. So for just one person, I would add half of one of these cubes. If you use a stock cube, I would recommend using only half of a cube. Then with a whisk, I'm going to whisk it all together. Don't forget to stir the pasta in between. Once the pasta feels like it's semi ready, we're going to add a handful of spinach. We want to bring this sauce to the boil just so we know it's nice and hot and to thicken it up. It's nice sometimes just to add a tiny pinch of turmeric to give it more of a cheesy yellowy colour. Drain the pasta once it's ready with the spinach inside. Once your sauce has started to boil and thicken up a bit, should look something like this. We're then going to add our pasta sauce to the pasta. And give it a really good stir all together. Oh my god, it smells and looks so good. I bought a new candle yesterday. It smells like cinnamon, which is really nice and Christmassy, and it makes the whole kitchen smell so good. I've also got my Santa Claus serviette because it's November and Christmas is coming, and I'm really excited. I love Christmas, I love Christmas decorations, I love 
just the feeling of before Christmas. I think it's the best feeling ever and it just gets me really excited and in a good mood. And pasta also makes me really happy. Um, I have actually recently been using a pasta which is made from like lentils and pulses which is higher in protein and has a bit more nutrition than plain white pasta but um for the purpose of this video i just thought the plain white pasta looks nicer for like the pictures and the videos but you can use whatever pasta makes you happy you have to do what makes you feel good sometimes you know mm, i'm so proud of this and it's really crazy like how much it tastes like cheese like i dare someone to give this to someone who's not a vegan and just don't say anything and they would never in a million years know that there's no cheese in this and the good thing about the nutritional yeast is it has a really cheesy flavor but it's full of b vitamins um so it's actually packed with nutrition and a lot of goodness um also lately i've been doing a lot of meditation and i want to make a meditation video for you guys again because it's something that i've really been focusing on and I just can't stress enough like how much it makes a huge difference to like your mind and the way that you think like I am constantly just in a good mood it's really weird like I'm a happy person naturally but I do spend quite a lot of time on my own because I'm living here in Switzerland I don't have any friends or family here I don't hang out with anyone, like I literally don't hang out with anyone here. So, and then Philip is working quite a lot. I go to work with him sometimes, but then when he's in like boring meetings, like doing like lawyer talk and stuff, I just, I don't, I prefer like to stay at home when he's doing things like that because I do get a bit bored, and which is a lot of the time. So um, I do spend a lot of time on my own and it could quite easily get somebody down, but I'm just saying like meditation it's just it stops that feeling of like loneliness it just keeps your mind really peaceful happy quiet and keeps you like really clear thinking and honestly like i've never been happier and it's because of meditation and i just feel like anyone and everyone needs to try it so yeah i'm gonna make a video on that for you guys again because i've started doing a different type of meditation to the last video so kind of changed up a bit. My book that I've made about intuitive eating, by the way, is in the process of being edited, which I'm really, really excited about. We did the photo shoot for all the food pictures and they look amazing. I'm so excited, I can't wait. I'm hoping to release it springtime next year because the vibe of the book is very summery, colorful, nice, and um, I feel like spring would be a really good time to, to bring it out. I hope you guys all love this recipe and I hope you give it a try. And don't forget to send me a picture and give me a like and a subscribe if you're enjoying my videos. Thanks guys.